Last year I talked about converting a number of our grounds to buffalo grass and uh, this year what I want to talk about is since we've got all this ground into buffalo grass is management of the buffalo grass because buffalo grass has to be managed entirely different than the cool season grasses uh, especially when most of the people are used to growing Kentucky bluegrass it's managed totally different. One of the biggest challenges with the buffalo grass is going to be weed control. And we really saw that last year in the establishment year. Uh, this area here was planted last year, and if you would have looked at it, it was a, a weedy mess. And nobody would ever thought that we had this good of a stand of buffalo grass underneath it. Uh, and this year it's really come on nice. And uh, other than a few sprinkler issues here, we've got a really decent stand. But when we talk about the weed control, uh, that weed control that first year is really critical. Uh, you don't want to use any 2,4-D containing products, uh, the, especially straight 2,4-D. Uh, that can cause some considerable damage to the buffalo grass. Uh, it causes some stunning of growth. Uh, we saw some instances last year with some homeowners, they sprayed 2,4-D and their grass really just sat most of the growing season and really didn't do anything this year. They didn't use 2,4-D and the grass finally started growing and looking good. The other consideration when we're doing weed control in buffalo grass is we need to be mindful of the, the air temperature. We do not want to spray when the temperature within 24 hours after the application is expected to be over 85 degrees. Again, when we spray on those conditions, we can see some damage and some stunning to the buffalo grass. One of the really neat things though with the buffalo grass is at the end of the season, after the buffalo grass goes dormant, we can go in and we can do some really neat things with Roundup and clean up a lot of our cool season grasses and our perennial weed problems like we might have bindweed, Canada thistle. We can go in, the buffalo grass is dormant, there's no green left in the buffalo grass, and we can go in with the Roundup and get rid of all those cool season weed problems and perennial weed problems. The one key though, if we do that, what I usually tell people to do is wait till we get a good 25 degree killing freeze and then wait about 10 days after that freeze and then we're pretty safe, we're pretty assured that there's no green left in that buffalo grass. So we can do that with confidence and not worry about killing the buffalo grass. We really don't want to use Roundup in the spring. Some of the recommendations from some of the other states uh, say that you can do it before the grass greens up in the spring. But what we find out here is a lot of times in early April, we may still have, you know, the, the grass may look brown on the top, but if you get down digging in there, there's some green coming. So we really want to avoid using the Roundup in the spring months. We want to use the Roundup in the fall. There's a lot of new herbicides that are coming out that have buffalo grass on the label. So it's easier to find products to use on the buffalo grass. And we want to use products that have low 2,4-D amounts uh, like we talked about earlier. Another factor that's going to be different with the buffalo grass is fertilization. The timing of our fertilization is totally different, again, than the cool season grasses. We will be wanting to fertilize uh, buffalo grass about mid-June. And then if we want to uh, add a little more fertilizer, we're looking again about mid-July. And we're going to use about one pound of N per thousand square feet at that mid-June point. And if, we, if we're under a higher maintenance uh, buffalo grass, we can go back in with another pound uh, at that mid-July. Uh, we don't want to fertilize in the spring and fall. If we fertilize in the spring and fall, uh, basically what we'll do is we'll just encourage weed growth and we're back to where we were talking earlier about trying to control weeds. So buffalo grass, we're finding out that it's really a nice attractive turf forest for use out here in western Nebraska and all of Nebraska.